Why is it that whenever we come across someone with a mental illness like depression, we assume one of two things. Either this person is possessed by demons and jinn and therefore needs to seek an exorcist. Or that this person is far from Allah or is a sinner and therefore Allah is punishing this person. You know, I've been guilty of such crimes for far too long. And now I realize and I acknowledge the damage that I have caused. You know, and it's simply not the case. A lady came to the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and she says to my Prophet of Allah, I have a mental condition where I sometimes lose control. Can you make a prayer to Allah and ask Allah to cure me? So the Prophet of Allah, he said to her, look, you have one of two options. I can either ask Allah for a cure and you will be cured. Or you can be patient on your illness and for you is paradise. And the amazing thing is here that the Prophet of Allah acknowledged that she had a mental illness and did not tell her that no, that you are possessed by jinn or that you are far from Allah, that you're a sinner and that Allah is punishing you. My brothers and sisters, the World Health Organization states that one in four people will be diagnosed with some sort of mental illness at some stage in their lives. These are statistics that we cannot ignore. Mental illness is very real. What is mental illness? In short, mental illness is a condition that affects one's thinking or behavior. Mental illness is not a choice. People don't wake up in the morning and choose to have a mental illness. Mental illness is not laziness. It's not a bad diet. It's not seeking attention. It's not a physical or a mental or a spiritual weakness. Mental illness is very real. It is as real as cancer, diabetes and heart disease. Now we're not denying the power of spirituality and the miracles of the Quran as a form of healing. But for the purpose of this video, what we're saying is the seriousness of mental illness is that there is no harm and no shame in seeking professional advice. In fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that ask the people of knowledge if you do not know. And our Prophet has said sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and this is this is the blessing of Islam that seek the cure of your illnesses for verily every illness that Allah brings down, He also brings its cure along with it. So please, if you feel in any way, shape or form that you may be suffering from the symptoms of mental illness, do not be afraid. Start a conversation with your GP, with a psychologist, with a social worker. Go seek professional help. And we as a community need to support our fellow brothers and sisters that are suffering. We really need to start showing people help and support because that is what a true Muslim does.